Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Applets Aviation Pilot Training Academy Your Route to the Cockpit In my previous video, we had discussed about what happens in the written exam Well, as you're already aware that in your written exam you will be asked questions from the subject Physics, Maths and English So we had seen what are the topics that the questions generally come from Well, if you haven't seen my previous video the link for the same is given above Please do have a look at the same And in my video today, I am going to be doing some sample questions for you and we are going to begin with maths well in maths the topics that are usually covered are number system height and distance mensuration 2d and 3d decimal fractions ratio and proportions unitary method percentage time and distance time and work profit and loss averages simple and compound interest algebra data interpretation logic and reasoning well does all this seem a lot to you don't you worry, I am here today to help you solve some of the questions. Basically, I'm going to give you some examples of the kind of questions that you can expect when you go for your written exam in the Cadet Pilot program. So for today's video, the questions that we are going to be solving will be from the topic speed, distance and time. Here I will be showing you a sample question and I will also be solving those for you. So please be ready with your pen and papers. This is your beginning for the preparation of the Cadet Pilot program exam. So the first type of questions that we are going to be solving from the speed, distance and time questions are going to be the train problems. In these questions, you can expect four types of questions that will be questions based on conversion, time and distance formula, train and object questions and theory of relativity. So let's begin with seeing the type of questions that come under the conversion topic. So basically as these questions are going to be from speed, distance and time. So as you all know whenever we solve any questions in maths all the units of measurement should be the same. If it is in kilometers per hour everything should be in kilometers and hours and if it's in meter per second all the other units are supposed to be in meters or seconds. However if that's not the case well, most likely that would not be the case when you are solving questions from speed, distance and time. So let's see how do you convert. Well, to begin with, the first thing is how do you convert kilometers per hour to meters per second? So to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second, all you do is multiply that's a particular number with 5 by 18. And if you are to convert from meters per second to kilometers per hour, all you have to do is multiply by 18 upon 5. So this is basically about how you convert your units from kilometers per hour to meter per second. Now coming to the second type of questions which are going to be simple questions based on the time and distance formula. As we all know the formula, speed is equal to distance upon time. Let's solve a question on the same. The question is, a train that is 200 meters long runs at 50 meters per second. Find the time. Well, this looks like a very easy question. All you have to do is use your formula speed is equal to distance upon time. Well, let's see the solution. As you can see, the L that is the length is given as 200 meters and the speed is given as 50 meters per second. We will consider the length as the distance. Therefore, D is equal to 200 meters. Now you substitute the numbers into the formula. As your speed is already 50 meter per second, you would write 50 is equal to distance upon time, which is 200 divided by T. Taking T to the other side, 200 divided by 50, you will get the answer as four seconds. So that was a simple question based on the speed, distance and time formula. Now let's see the third type of question that you can be asked. This is about the train and the object. Showing you a question here. A train which is 300 meters long is running at a speed of 54 kilometers per hour. In what time will it pass a bridge which is 100 meters long? Is that question a little bit tricky for you? Well, don't worry, I have the solution here. The length of the train is given as 300 meters. We have the speed which is 54 kilometers per hour. Now, as you can see, since the length is in meters, we will be converting the speed from kilometers per hour to meters per second. As we've already seen the formula, we will multiply 54 with 5 by 18 and we will be getting 15 meters per second. So that is your speed in meters per second. Now we're given the length of the bridge which is equal to 100 meters. Again using the formula, speed is equal to distance upon time. Here we will calculate the distance as the length of the train plus length of the bridge. Length of the train being 300 meters and the length of the bridge being 100 meters. So 300 plus 100 is 400 divided by T that is 15. Your answer is 26.66 or 27 seconds. 
Well, if you found this question to be a little tricky, wait for the next question. Well, in this type of question, you will be given a train and the object could be either a pole, a tree or a man. Let's see a question for example. A train covers 10 kilometers in 10 minutes. If it takes 6 seconds to pass a telegraph post, the length of the train is. Let's quickly see the solution. Here we are given the distance as 10 kilometers and the time in 10 minutes. We are going to be making the units same. So when we put this in the formula, speed is equal to distance upon time. We will multiply distance by 1000 and multiply time with 60 so as to get the speed in meters per second. So 10 into 1000 divided by 10 into 60 will give you 50 by 3 meters per second. We will just keep this in fraction for easier use. Now the time given is 6 seconds and the speed is 50 by 3 meters per second. We substitute into the formula. Here distance is given as L that is the length. We will substitute it into the formula with 50 by 3 into 6 which will give you the answer as 100 meters. So the length of the train is 100 meters. Well this question for sure looked a little bit tricky. Now let's move on to the fourth type of question that can be expected and this is from the theory of relativity. Let's quickly see the question. Two trains of 100 meter and 200 meter long are at speeds 60 kilometers per hour and 30 kilometers per hour. They are traveling in the opposite direction on parallel tracks. What is the time taken to cross each other? Let's quickly see the solution. The length of train 1 is 100 meter and the speed of the train 1 is 60 kilometers per hour. Length of the train 2 is given as 200 meter and the speed is given as 30 kilometers per hour. Now since both the trains are in opposite direction, we will be adding the speeds. So S1 plus S2 will be equal to 60 plus 30 that gives us 90 kilometers per hour. However, if you see that the length of the train is in meters, so we will be converting 90 kilometers per hour to meters per second. Again, 90 into 5 by 18 will give you 25 meters per second. So that is your speed in meters per second. Now we will put it in the formula. T is equal to L1 plus L2 divided by S1 plus S2. L1 being the length of the train 1 plus L2 being the length of the train 2 and S1 the speed of both the trains S1 and S2. So we get it as 300 divided by 25 which is going to give you 12 seconds. So the answer is 12 seconds. Well these were the kind of questions that can be expected from the topic speed distance and time in your cadet pilot program written exam. To know more about the these questions or to prepare for the cadet pilot program please walk into golden applets aviation pilot training academy our address and contact details are given below in my next video i will be solving some more topics from maths which can be expected in the cadet pilot program written exam so stay tuned to our channel golden applets for more such informative videos what are you waiting for come let's fly